After months of rumors, finally ay ipinakita na sa public ng Victory Liner ang kanilang pinakabagong bus. Ito ay walang iba kundi ang Royal Class. Victory Liners Royal Class Bus! Ito ang centerpiece sa kanilang 78th anniversary event na ginanap sa Pasay City last October 13. At isa tayo sa mga naimbitahan na dumalo sa event na ito. Not only that, naimbitahan din tayo ng Victory Liner na i-review ang bus na ito bago ito magsimulang bumiyahe. So in this video, pupunta tayo sa unveiling ceremony ng kanilang pinakabagong bus at sasakyan natin ito papuntang Baguio City. At the end of the video ay malalaman natin kung sulit bang sumakay sa kanilang royal class. Ready na ba kayo? Tara! A few weeks ago ay naka-receive tayo ng email from Victory Liners Marketing Department inviting us to attend the launch event of their newest Volvo Sleeper Bus. According sa email na ito ay may magaganap na unveiling ceremony followed by a maiden voyage to Baguio City on October 13. Exciting, di ba? Unfortunately, hindi tayo naka-attend sa unveiling ceremony. So humabol tayo sa venue dahil in less than 2 hours ay aalis na papuntang Baguio City ang mga bagong bus. Thankfully ay nakahabol at narating natin ng Pasay City bago mag 7pm. Sa nakadya lang sa handa na Sa labas ng venue ay nakaredy na sa pag-alis ang dalawang bagong bus. This is Victory Liner's Royal Class Bus, isang Thaco Mobi Home Sleeper Bus na imported mula sa bansang Vietnam through Auto Delta Philippines. Meron itong 28 seats na reclinable with adjustable headrests, privacy curtains, reading lights, storage space, at USB charging ports. Plus points dahil merong USB-C. Earlier today ay in-announce na rin ng Victory Liner ang mga magiging routes and fares ng kanilang mga Royal Class. Cubao to Baguio City for 1,500 pesos, Camias to Tabuk Kalinga for 2,200 pesos, and Camias to Tugigaraw City for 2,300 pesos. Now I mentioned the dalawang bus yung gagamitin for this road trip. Sa first bus naka-assign ang mga VIPs, influencers, at mga content creators. Dapat dito tayo sasakay sa first bus. Pero sinabi ko sa coordinator nitong event na sa second bus na lang tayo dahil malilate tayo ng konti. Ito yung sasakya natin, Bus 7802. Makakasama natin dito ang mga media at mga employees ng VLI, specifically from their marketing department. Now dahil walang nakapwesto dito sa front row, pinili natin itong Suite C02 na nasa upper bunk. Oh by the way, dito nakalagay yung mga suite numbers. A and C para sa mga suite na nasa windows at B naman para sa mga nasa aisle. First impressions, medyo tight dito sa pwesto natin but I was informed na tight daw talaga yung legroom dito sa front row compared sa mga susunod na rows. Now it seems na ready na tayong umalis. Pero bago yun, meron munang briefing mula sa ating bus attendant. This will be approximately 4 to 5 hours. And for your comfort, we have a washroom located at the back section of the bus. Should you need any assistance, please do not hesitate to call me anytime during the trip. Thank you. Matapos ang announcement or briefing ay namigay na ng snacks. At syempre, meron ding drinks. Hindi lang yun dahil namigay din ng blankets para komportable tayo sa biyahe. Thank you. Umalis tayo ng Pasay City at around 7.40pm. At habang binabaybay natin ang mga kalye, agaw pansin sa mga nasa labas itong Royal Class.
few weeks ago, we nakatanggap tayo ng email from Victory Liners Marketing Head inviting us to join this road trip. Tonight ay makakasama natin siya sa biyahe at eto makakausap rin natin siya. Yeah, my name is Raul. I am the marketing head of Victory Liners. For now, routes will be bound for Cagayan Valley and Isabela. The one that we are currently riding is going to Bangu. It's like a uh, mini motel for a typical type of bus like this. It's around 1,500 with the snacks, luxury like this. I think it's cheap and very reasonable to the public. We are continuously innovating. Ideally, simple directions because the management is to continue to improve so in terms of facilities, digitalization, process. So, marami kami ganun ginagawa to make or to extend our uh, ideally self having the best and uh, the best to serve or to provide the better customer experience for Thank you. 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 Yes. Awesome. Since mahaba itong expressway na dinadaanan natin, kausapin muna natin ng ating crew. Matagal na po kayo nagtatry ng fall? Mahaba. Isang taon. Isang taon. Pero dati po, anong, anong, anong hawak nyo? Man. Man. Irregular recon. Ah, okay. Tabal. Then yung kuta niya? Yung Baguio, Kubaw. Baguio, Kubaw. Ano pong pinagkaiba nito dun sa, sa man? So, mas magkala ito, ma'am, uh, sir, kaya yung automatic siya. Automatic. Oo, oh, maging nahawa sa ano. Mm-hmm. Ang pag-camera uh, ka ng camera. Manual. Kayo na po ang hahawak nito? Apo. Ah, okay. I've been a bus steward uh, May 2021. 2021? Yes. Then, ako po yung na-assign na bus steward po dito sa Seven. Royal Class Bus. Nakaka-encounter po ako ng iba't itong passengers na mm-hmm. may iba yung ugali. Siyempre, <laughs> <laughs> as a bus steward na uh, na-enhance ko po yung communication skills and then skills. kung paano po ako makipag-interact sa mga iba ibang passenger. Kung ano yung sabi mo dito sa bagong bus dyan? Ah, speechless po. <laughs> and before kasi first class lang, reclinable chairs lang. Then na-amaze po ako sa bagong bus po. <laughs> so this is my first time po. Ay, ay first time pala to travel. First time ba? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Narating natin ang endpoint ng Skyway less than an hour nung umalis tayo sa Pasay. At hanggang dito ay ako pansin pa rin itong bus na sinasakyan natin. Lalo pa nang matraffic tayo dito sa NLEX. At 7.27pm ay narating natin ang dulo ng T-Plex dito sa Rosario La Union. Dito ay nagpaalala muli ang ating bus steward about sa safety. Kindly ensure that your seat belts are securely fastened for your safety and convenience. Thank you for your cooperation. Mga binibini, ginang at kinoo. Maaari lamang pong double check ang inyong mga seat belts dahil tayo po ay dadaan na sa zigzag. Maraming salamat. Sa wakas ay natapos din ang pagkahaba-habang expressway at nasa national road na ulit tayo. Makikita natin dito kung gano'ng kaingat mag-drive ang ating bus captain at he did not disappoint. Yeah. 
It's 11.43pm at nandito na tayo ngayon sa Pugula Union Intersection. Para sa mga hindi nakakaalam, dito na nagsisimula ang pag-akyat natin papuntang Baguio City. As mentioned sa announcement na ginawa ng ating bus steward, importante na naka-seatbelt tayo sa part na ito dahil zigzag road at delikado pag nahulog tayo sa ating pwesto. Few minutes nung nagsimula yung ascent natin, they have to say na hindi halata na zigzag yung dinadaanan dahil napakasmooth ng pag-akyat nitong bus natin. Sadly, hindi na natin nakuna ng video yung buong pag-akyat dahil tinamaan tayo ng napakatinding antok. Nagising tayo na nasa may tuba benget na at papasok na sa city of Baguio. Ilang sandali lang ay nag-announce na ulit ang ating bus steward. Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Baguio City. May we request to kindly remain seated until we come to our complete stop. And before you leave the bus, please make sure to have all your personal belongings with you. Once again, on behalf of our bus driver, Mr. Diaz, and I am Janelle, your bus steward. Thank you for choosing Victory Liner as your transport provider. We move people better and safer. Thank you and good morning. Narating natin ang Baguio Terminal ng Victory Liner at 12.40am. Nandito na rin yung isang bus na sakay yung mga influencers at content creators. At pagbaba natin sa bus ay may mga nakita tayong familiar faces. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> let's go, let's go. I am my uh, my my name is Josh. I am uh Ano po ko sali lang po ko dito. With the man, Sir Gauci. Let's go. Yeah, we are now at Baguio Terminal. Uh, tomorrow actually we don't have any activities, but you will enjoy your buffet breakfast tomorrow morning. And afterwards, you can have your free day and go roam around Baguio and please be back at around 11:30 a.m. tomorrow for a solidarity meeting or lunch with Mayor Magano. Okay? Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. This is by far the most luxurious bus in the Philippines at the moment. At merong malaking question. Sulit ba for 1,500 pesos itong royal class ng Victory Liner? Let's have a recap. For 1,500 pesos, you have your own capsule. Capsule yung tawag sa mga bunk beds. With a reclinable seat, storage space, charging ports, USB-A tsaka USB-C, privacy curtains, reading lights, bus to work, onboard restroom, snacks, drinks, blankets, amenity kit. Meron pa ba ako nakalimutan? Oh yes, of course, may Wi-Fi rin. So worth it bang sumakay? Definitely! Sa features at amenities pa lang ay sulit na yung 1,500 pesos. At for sure, maganda lalong sakyan ang bus na ito sa kanilang long haul routes kagaya ng Manila to Isabela, Cagayan, or Kalinga. Yung tipong masusulit po talaga yung pagtulog. Anyway, nagpalipas tayo ng gabi sa isang hotel na nasa taas lang ng terminal dito sa Baguio. Now of course, hindi magiging possible ang video na ito without Victory Liner. Thank you so much VLI for the invitation and for the amazing experience. Believe me, magiging game changer ang bus na ito at exciting ang future ng bus industry dahil dito. Ikaw, anong masasabi mo dito sa Royal Class ng Victory Liner? Nasakyan mo na ba? What do you think about the features? Nag-enjoy ka ba sa biyahe? Let me know in the comments. Make sure to subscribe para updated ka sa mga susunod na videos. Until next time, 